Yes, hi, I'm Art Ekman. I graduated from Washington State University in 1965. If somebody looked at Art Ekman on the bio sheet, they would have to say that he did over 20 different sports. Hello again, everyone. It is the Clemson Tigers take the field here in Clemson, South Carolina. I'm Art Ekman. As our 125 main event is underway. Joining me live now from the stadium, a guy who is young enough that he just might give Ryan's record a run one day. At least we hope so. Braves all-star John Schmaltz. Schmaltz, he uh, will be in the Hall of Fame uh, this next uh, next time. And uh, he was always my, my favorite as far as athletic ability. Dick Fosbury, the Fosbury flop. Nobody from the European countries had ever seen him jump head first over the bar. I love this original print with Kenny Stabler. And of course here is some of the all-stars on, on that team. Al Michaels. We did the Giants together. Second down and six for Georgia. I wasn't the greatest sports fan in the world, but I didn't care for being a news reporter. Sports uh, gave me the opportunity to travel. The start of the race and the early checkpoints are behind the mushers now. I think the jumping events in water skiing are probably the most intense. One of my favorite interviews was Mickey Mantle. You've played more games than any person has in a Yankee uniform. He says, you've done your homework. He said, I was most proud of playing those games in a Yankee uniform. That was a real compliment to me, to have a, a, a true superstar note that uh, I knew a lot about him. Art Ekman is in Miami to cover the Super Bowl. He's staying at the Omni Hotel less than a mile away from the riot scene. There was one time, too, with Channel 11 here in, in Atlanta that I went down to Miami to cover a Super Bowl. We ended up covering a riot. That 17 by 9 block area that was roped off. If you worked there and lived there, you could get in, but no one else could. That was a time where uh, all hell broke loose in Miami. My experience at Washington State University was a th the foundation for 47 years in my career. You know, here I am, 73 years of age, and I still do some broadcasting. But who would have dreamed that uh, in a young person's job that I would last that long? There goes Jeremy with the challenge already. Oh, Zipping nice. through the whoops. Nice move. He, he... I don't know of another occupation that I would have enjoyed as much if I, I have enjoyed life.